COVID cases are rising sharply and governments across Europe are ratcheting up the controls on our everyday lives. But some scientists from the UK and elsewhere have now signed the Great Barrington Declaration, warning that the restrictions do more harm than good. They argue that the risk of death is up to a thousand times lower in the young than the old, yet the whole of society is taking a hit. For example, a study showed there were just over 2,000 excess deaths in England and Wales due to heart disease and stroke during the pandemic peak. Delayed cancer diagnoses could lead to almost 3,300 extra deaths in England over the next five years from four common forms of the disease. And figures up to the end of August show almost 700,000 jobs have been lost, a number that's only going to rise. Now, the scientists say it would be better to go for what they call focused protection, shielding the elderly and those with underlying health conditions while allowing the virus to spread through the rest of the population who live their lives as normal. Now, what's happening on university campuses is, in effect, a petri dish for the theory. Locked up in their flats, students might build up herd immunity. The idea is, once 50 to 60 per cent of people are infected, the spread of the virus slows, the epidemic wanes, and the vulnerable might be safe to rejoin the rest of society. But the Great Barrington Declaration has been ripped apart by other scientists. Up to 30 million people in the UK are at heightened risk from the virus and would have to shut themselves away. Even then, they say, it's impossible to keep the virus out of care homes, and even regular testing of staff and visitors is no guarantee of protection. More than 14,000 residents died between April and August. And there are doubts that herd immunity is even possible. Only 8% of the population has antibodies, well short of what's needed. And other coronaviruses cause the common cold, and let's face it, we get lots of those. Until there is a vaccine in widespread use, there will be winners and losers in whatever governments choose to do. The game changer would be an effective treatment that reduces the death rate, perhaps to the level of something like flu. Then we could relax about the virus spreading. But for now, scientists are split on what to do.